one, two, three. Welcome everybody to Grow Mastermind Group. We are a group of entrepreneurs here whose mission it is to envision and purpose to encourage other entrepreneurs to fulfill, unleash, and discover their potential. We are meet every single Sunday at 8 p.m. and we discuss different topics like house seeds or things that every single entrepreneur or person that needs to grow, they will be inspired from. We also have a lot of, um, I would say, beautiful, uh, amazing, inspirational stories. So if you're not tuning in with our group, please do so. Um, tonight we have something special. Tonight is not going to be our regular uh, eight o'clock. I think it's a little bit earlier, two hours early, six o'clock. And uh, we have an event tailored special to Crush 21. Why to crush 21? Each of us have that dream to make a better year, to grow, to do better. And every every single of you deserve to have one of the best years and best outcome from that year. And for that reason, we thought we're gonna put some wonderful, I will say amazing well put together step by step how to crush it how to get the best of you how to put your goals together how to create a vision how to create put your mindset how to put your goals how to go over your time management your accountability your uh overall i will say like you see in this beautiful slide that runs over me, above me, I'm saying, to take control over your life. And of course, to put some energy in that one because without to put the energy in what you have and to really wish it, really want it, uh, it's gonna be very hard to achieve it. Oh, awesome. And that actually leads me to the next topic for fear is you have a lion and you have an elephant. And a lion is the king of the jungle. The elephant, who's more powerful, more strong, probably more intelligent, is seen as lunch to the lion. Because the lion looks at the elephant and he says, that is lunch. And the elephant looks at himself like, I'm lunch. And what is the difference? The fear factor. The lion looks and he's fearless and he looks at his opponent. And the elephant is stilled by fear controlled by fear and he continues to be eaten so that being said i lead you to our next speaker emmanuel the great and he's going to talk to you about fear so awesome emmanuel take the show thank you guys thank you guys for listening i appreciate you guys thank you very much <laughs> brand x killing it holy crap <laughs> now holy crap well, guys i, I want i want every single person right here before i start give like a big like high five to brand x in the chat because he just blew my mind. Uh, he just completely <laughs> blew my mind. And I'm gonna talk about one thing, okay? Yes, fear is a monster topic. That's where you see fuck fear behind me. And I'm gonna tell you right now, we are mostly living in fear. Today, 2020, write down, uh, I guess, yes, on the chat, because I have the chat open here, I wanna see how if 2020 affected you negatively type in yes because this is going to be so huge and i'm going to talk get right into this okay if fear affected you negatively it only means one thing one thing means you lost control and what happens when you lose control is very simple you lose yourself with the process all right so here is exactly what happens Fear comes in the way. Okay, I see no, no, a lot. I love it. I love it. I love it when people say no. It's awesome because that shows that fear has not made you the bitch. Pun intended, kind of. So let's get into this. We have the whole concept of fuck fear is to make fear your bitch. And that's how exactly how to start taking control. And when you lose control, you lose yourself, you, you lose your happiness, okay? You lose your thoughts and you lose your character and ultimately you lose yourself. 
I could go on repeating the same thing over and over, but I'm going to tell you right now. And if it scares you, good. All right. If it scares you right now, the next comment that I'm going to make, if it scares the hell out of you, epic. Because I'm not trying to give you, get you guys scared. I'm trying to get you to see the big picture. So here's the big picture. 2021. You, whoever's watching this right now, you are going to lose. You are going to lose so hard. And if that scares you, good, because we are going to conquer that fear right now. Over the next, I guess, just under half hour, we're going to discuss exactly how to conquer that fear. All right. So when you, what happens when you lose, you grow this fear of failure. You're like, oh my God, am I failing? What's happening? Why am I like, why, why is this happening to me? Why am I do, not getting this right? Why am I losing money? Why am I going out of business? That's the biggest question. And I, I know it's been touched up probably earlier on today, but if you haven't seen it, or if you need a reminder, that when you stop asking yourself why, only then can you start conquering the fear. Only then can you start accepting the loss. Because if you're asking yourself why you're playing a victim card, when you play the victim card, you're like, hey, um, uh, this is not my fault. 2020 was a hard year, so I, I lost a lot of money. Uh, my, my whole uh, thing is messed up because of 2020. Oh, I got, I got like a whole breakdown because of this person or that person. Oh, this, this happens to me. I'm going to tell you straight up because I keep it at 100. Shut up. Tell your mind to shut up, all right? If you don't tell, if you have the power to tell your mind to shut up, only then can you, your mind will be like, whoa, what the hell just hit me? If you can tell you, look in the mirror and tell yourself to shut up, your mind will go completely blank. It'll be like, just, well, for me, since I have tinnitus, <laughs> all I hear is like a high pitch, but, if you're having negative thoughts, if you're thinking, hey, I don't know if 2021 is going to be my year, that's the problem. That's the big problem. If you, you're coming in 2021, all right, and you're thinking that it may not be my year. Why are you creating topics? Why are you creating visions? Okay, what is fear? Fear is an emotions caused by the belief that something bad or negative is going to happen. If you're taking down notes, write this down. I'm gonna say this again. Fear is an emotion caused by the belief that something bad or negative is about to happen to you. Now in the comments, I would invite you to, uh, to show me what you think is the key word in that phrase. Fear is an emotion caused by the belief that something bad or negative is about to happen to you. All right, keep on. I want to see what you guys think. We have one thinking belief, belief, emotion. Okay, belief, belief, belief. Okay, cool. So people are get, are seeing the exact thing. It's a belief. Fear itself is only a belief that you made yourself believe. Don't go fear, like don't charge fear head on. Okay, a lot of people have been saying, yo, I'm gonna go face my fear. What are you really going against when you're facing your fear? You're going against yourself. Can you win against yourself? No. You're just gonna be in a constant battle, slapping, punching your face over and over. All right, that's what happens when you go face your fears head on. Face everything and rise. So stupid. That meme, I'm gonna be straight up. Like there is no one as real as I am here. Absolutely nobody. Because no one's gonna say it as it is. I come from a background where I was afraid of absolutely everything. I was afraid of heights, I was afraid of spiders, I was afraid of tables, I was afraid of falling, I was afraid of scratching, failing success. I was afraid of being afraid. I was afraid of my parents, I was afraid of getting into a relationship. You know, I was just afraid. And that's how I know I've conquered it. I try to overcome fear as many people have been talking about. Hey, you just gotta overcome fear. 
That's the big problem. If you find a person that tells you, you got to overcome your fears, the first thing you got to do is you got to get the hell out or fire the person who's giving you that uh, crappy advice. Let me explain why. We've been taught to overcome fear. What really happens? I want you to picture this. This is fear and this is yourself, okay? So when you overcome it, well, essentially what you're doing, you're just jumping over and continuing to go. This is still here. What happens if you don't crush it, if you don't conquer it? It's going to follow you no matter where you go. It'll be right behind you. And fear strikes at your worst possible timing. It knows when you're doing bad because it's attracted by negativity. Whenever you're feeling down, it's there. It's like, okay, let's stir some shit up. How do I mess this person up? Let's go, get into the head. That's how fear works. You don't even notice until it's too late. That's why you have to conquer your fears. And what does that mean? Okay, what does it mean to conquer your fears? It means to, there's this the fear, okay? You're going to build a drill and you're going to drill in and unscrew every possible part of the fear until you get to the core. And you take that core out, you look at it, and then you call it your bitch because it will do whatever you want it to do. You will be able to conquer this fear. You will be able to use it to your advantage. When you start using fear to your advantage, you open up a world to new opportunities. For example, I was tremendously afraid of heights. I was petrified of heights. And me with uh, being hearing impaired, because I'm, I'm legally deaf, I'm not gonna lie. That's why I have this. So whenever uh, I'm gonna be taking questions, I wanna go face to face, okay? And I wanna understand and I wanna hear everything. But with this also comes vertigo. And I get a whole lot of vertigo. So I used to be afraid of going up, of, of heights. And once I conquered my fears, I was able to go up on the temple in, in uh, Mexico. And I think it was in Tulum. I, I don't remember exactly where. I think it was Tulum. Uh, there was a big temple. I was able to climb on top of it and see the whole thing in front of me. It was so beautiful. It didn't end there. My girlfriend and I decided to go to Croatia. Croatia is full of castles. What do I do? I say, where is it? Right here. Fuck fear. And I start climbing to the very tip of the castle. And sure, it sounds stupid. For the general eye, the people are probably thinking, Emmanuel, you're an idiot. And that's okay. But you have not experienced being on the very top of the world with a wind blowing at you, feeling this amazing scenery. It's like becoming one with life itself. I'm not telling you to go be reckless, okay? I'm telling you to explore all the options and all you can only do that once you conquer fear you once you find that root cause is this tiny little cause of fear that you probably don't can't even see it right as uh, susie wrote yes it is a high it's uh, that's how when people ask me how are you so happy all the time i'm like i'm just happy because i am in control and if fear takes away control well, how do you gain control you conquer that fear Right? It's super easy to say, oh, go ahead, conquer that fear. I'm going to be very honest. It's absolutely difficult. Okay? A lot of people say, oh, use fear to push you forward. You got to. Right? That's the way to do it. But one thing you don't want to talk about is how fear is making fear your ally. Okay? Never, ever, ever become friends with fear. You may love fear because it pushes you further. You may love the fear because it inspires you. But once you get too comfortable with fear, that's a big problem because fear doesn't give a shit about you. Fear is there to mess you up, okay? That's like that negative part. There is the negative mindset that we get starts from fear and it grows exponentially. It continues going and growing throughout your life until you find that very root cause of the fear, right? And you gotta find out, it's a belief, right? It's an emotion caused by the belief as I was talking about. So what triggers the emotion? What is it 
that's actually hurting you, that's scaring the shit out of you? What is it? If you don't know, don't jump over it. All right. And, you know, people, people have been asking, hey, can you embrace fear? It comes to a certain extent. Again, you can embrace it. But at the end, okay, you either, number one, you make fear your bitch, or number two, I'm sorry if it offends you, but you become the bitch. So if you either make fear your bitch, you can embrace it. You don't want to be fear's bitch. You don't want to be cast below fear's shadow, all right? You, what you want to do, you don't want to face the fear. You want to look at it, yes, but don't go face to face. Don't charge it. Because at the end, the biggest fear is what you see in the mirror. Then there's different reasons, okay? The way, the best way to conquer fear, you got to know who you are as a person. A lot of the times we grow up, we go from, you know, kid, toddlers, uh, babies, toddlers, kids, uh, young adults, adults, probably miss teenagers. And then, you know, growing older and older and older, we spend more time helping and, you know, doing things for other people exploring other people, getting into a relationship with other people, but we have not gotten into the relationship with the most important person. That's why there's so many breakups happening in relationships, not just romantic, but business relationships, also family relationships. The reason these breakups happen is because you have not discovered yourself. All right. I, I'm just going full out bombs here. I'm just going boom, boom, boom. I'm hoping you have the time to write everything down, each and every one of you. I want to make sure that by the end of today, by the end of tonight, you're going to have all of this energy and you're going to be able to go, go, go. Because there's what? Still three days left. Three days. If 2020 was not your year, it was three days to turn it around. Because in 2021, guess what? You're going to lose. And you have to lose. It's the beautiful part about losing is the growth that comes after. Don't be afraid to lose. The biggest mistake people make is to avoid mistakes. If I know that I'm going to go all in and I'm going to flop, I'm going to do it anyways. Why? Because I'm going to learn something. If I flop, it means I don't know something. Okay? So don't be afraid of failure because there is no such a thing as failure. Write this down. Okay? Really write this down. And I, I swear to God, if you don't write it down, you're going you're gonna to miss a big point right now, okay? So here's what you got to do. You, I, I feel like I'm sounding a bit like Tony Robbins. I've been talking a lot today. So uh, here's what you got to do. Know this, okay? Failure does not exist. I want you to make right big and bold, right in the chat. Whatever you do, write it up. Failure does not exist. What exists is given up. You don't fail. You give up. Okay? If you're afraid of failing, that's what makes you want to give up easier. But you, what are you really afraid of? You're not afraid of failing because failure doesn't exist. So my question to you, what is it that you're really afraid of? What is it that's making you so scared? A lot of people, a lot of people, they don't know what the hell they're actually afraid of, okay? And that's why I'm being very honest. It's a happy holidays, okay? I'm going to stay, I'm going to continue going for a bit, but at the end of the time, I do promise I'm going to open up my schedule and I want to be able to give all of you guys in a, a way to chat with me. I want to give you guys direction where to go. Half an hour of my time with everyone in this room. And I, that's my promise to you, absolutely free. I'm not charging anything, I'm not selling anything. My job is to make sure you make fear your bitch. I want you to be able to say these two words right here. On my shirt, everywhere I go, these are the two words. So here is another thing that you have to know, okay? Be open to losing. What happens when you lose? Lose. Yes. When I say you're going to lose, I mean it. You're going to lose. But it's not about losing. I'm not saying, oh, you suck and you're going to lose because you, you're terrible. No. I'm saying you're going to lose for one reason. Oh, and you're not going to lose the fear. I see Christians that go, lose the fear. 
hell no, I'm never going to lose the fear. I'm, to be honest, there's two types of people before I get into losing again. I just to get Christian over here. So you have to know two types of people that don't have fear or uh, that are fearless. All right. Number one, get ready. Liars. If you're a liar, you're going to say you're fearless. And number two is psychopaths. So if you're saying if you're saying you're not a liar, don't freaking talk to me. Don't call me. I don't want to deal with you because I don't want to deal with a psychopath. All right. So that's the only two types of people. Other than that, you will have fear. OK, and you will lose and fear will get the best out of you until you start conquering it. All right. And I always talk about conquer your mind. There was a mindset coach today. You rocked it. He absolutely rocked it. OK. So really understand the mindset is super important. Every single thing that the people spoke about today, all right, it was super important because it was leading up over and over and over. You have to understand to get one thing, you have to do a next thing and the next thing and the next thing, all right? So what you want to know about loss, okay? When you lose, you open yourself up to growth. You don't humble yourself. Don't get humble. Don't feel humbled. Hell no. Humble is horrible. People that say, oh, you got to humble down, humble down. I challenge each and every one of you to look at Google definition of humble. In fact, I'm going to do it right now. And I'm going to show you right now the actual definition of the word humble. And I'm going to explain it because 2021 is not going to be a year of humbleness. And I'm putting it over here. Having or showing a modest or low estimate of one's own importance. So I'm going to say that again. Being humble means having or showing a modest or low estimate of one's own importance. Do you want to sell yourself short like that? Do you want to show that you're not that important? Or do you want to rise up, show who you are? Become the important person. Make sure everyone knows how important you are. Make sure everyone's talking about you because you're that important. That's called confidence. Okay? Do not be modest. Do not be humble. Be confident. If you're not confident in 2021, you're going to lose and then you're going to feel humbled. And that's not the way to grow. Okay? If you go down, if you fall down, Where's Brandex here? Brandex, what happens when you go down? You push yourself back up, right? It's part of a workout. It's called push-ups. First time, it's probably what? One push-up. Then the second push-up. Am I right? So yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's the thing. It's like a workout. Okay. That's what confidence is. And losing is part of it. Okay. Even when you work out. I'm not gonna get into the workout. Brandex is the guy for the for, uh, to get swole. But I know from the facts, until you push yourself to the point where you fall down and you can't get back up, you haven't done enough. It's not showing that you're weak. It's showing that you're getting stronger. In Muay Thai, why are people there so powerful? Why are their shins so strong? Because they break bits and bits of it when they train. They kill the shins. The point they break and they the bones, when they go back, they go back stronger. Okay? So go ahead. Take the action necessary. Lose and be open to it. When you fall down, what are you going to do? Are you going to be like, hey, I, I'm, I fell, I suck, whatever? Or are you going to fa fall and be like, okay, I fall down. I've done this, this, this. Something here out of the three did not work. One, I've done, it was good. Second, I still didn't fall. On the third step, I fell, right? So that's what I'm saying. Do not fear the fall, okay? It's like bungee jumping. You, you can jump in because you know you're good, right? But go into an unknown room, completely pitch black. You don't know what's going on. You don't know what to expect. You don't know where the light is, all right? All you know is that you're in a room and that's it. A lot of the times people will run away. They will want to go back away from that room because it's scary as shit. And the biggest mistake is they backed away because what they do not know, what is super important is that if they go around the dark room and find a switch, when they click the switch, I promise you, 
when you go in into that darkness and click the switch to open up the light, everything you've ever dreamed of is right there. So fall into that dark space, fall into that dark room, find the switch. And that is how you take control. And that is exactly how you're going to make 2021 your bitch. All right. Now, let's go. And I want to see a bunch of questions. I want to, I, I want to go, go all in. I want to give you just gold, gold, gold. No fluff, no bullshit. So if you have questions, let's go. Let's tackle them. Who has questions? I see uh, right now, I, we, it was some question earlier about from Susie, but right now I don't uh, see that question. I think you already answered answer yeah, it. It's, a, well. it's about embracing fear. And like I said, if you want to embrace your fear, mm -hmm. okay, what you got to do is you got to make sure you don't become friends with it. Okay. Fear itself is a belief. It's right here. It's an emotion created by the belief. So what do you do when fear strikes? You have two options. You can either act out of love and conquer it, or number two, run away. Or run towards it because it's stimulating to some people. See, that's the thing. A lot of the times when it stimulates people, right? You gotta find a way, what are you gonna do with it? Right, it stimulates. Oh, I'm afraid of doing this. I'm gonna do it anyways. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I do. That's if I'm a, afraid of doing something, that means that that's there for me to do. That that's absolutely. something that that's next on my list. Yeah, if that's 100%. something that scares me, then that's that's my direction. Absolutely. And the, the good thing about that is that it, it can be done once you know the how. A lot of people do not know the how, and that's a big problem. It's like, and that's why I'm saying all of these memes like face everything and rise. What's the how? They don't talk about the how. People don't talk about how to conquer fears. They just say, oh, just conquer it or just overcome it. Just or do ignore it. it. Yeah, you can't do right? that. You can, and that's, and that, that's why I don't say go ahead, face fear head on or like that because you're just facing yourself. You got to describe what fear exactly are you conquering, right? If you're afraid of, let's say, to run five kilometers, that's one thing, right? But if you're afraid of going to hiring getting hired or going on a plane of flights, right? If you're afraid of spiders, right? You can't just go and pick a spider up because people will freak out. They get it because what happens if you don't, and one of the things I did not mention, okay? I am not a doctor. I'm, put, I'm stating that right now. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a psychiatrist. I'm not a psychologist. I will not prescribe any medication or pills. Um, but I will say this, okay? If you do not conquer your fear, what the next step to fear, it becomes paralyzing fear. And when it paralyzes you, that's what anxiety is. Anxiety is paralyzing fear. And when you do not conquer that anxiety, it may become very late, a bit too late, because we all know scientifically, anxiety is one of the leading factors towards depression. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying I can cure depression. I'm not, but how I conquered my depressive states, I thought, because I used to be very, very depressed. I used to get depressed a lot of times. And I was thinking, okay, what can I do right now? I'm, 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 I'm afraid. And then I get anxious and then I get depressed. Do I want that? No. Okay. So next time I catch myself living, like finding myself in fear, I conquer that fear. Boom. I don't have to deal with anxiety and I don't have to deal with depression. I see over here, can anxiety and fear cause real physical symptoms? Absolutely, absolutely. Here's what happens, okay? I'm going to explain this very, uh, it's going to be very dramatic, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. And what, here's what exactly what happens. You have fear, okay? If this belief in you. And this belief, once it starts talking to you, it's like this inner voice. And it'll, be, it'll say, you suck, you suck at this, you suck at that, you know? And, and then, then you're like, oh shit, I suck. Maybe I do suck. And then you, what you're going to do is like, man, I want this voice out of my head. What's the first thing? Oh, give me a bottle of, uh, what's that? Uh, the Rocks uh, tequila. Just like uh, drink the whole bottle. That's you sabotaging yourself right now. You're sabotaging yourself. Or, you know, you may, you may turn around. Instead of drinking, you maybe you'll go out with friends and sabotage your goals. 
Fear is a silent killer. They say strokes are a silent killer. Fear is the silent mental killer. And if you don't conquer it and you overcome it, like many people are talking about, you're fucked. <laughs> straight, straight up. Okay. I'm not here to give you flop. I'm not here to scare you. I'm here to show you that fear can be conquered. As Jenny wrote, yes, fear is sneaky. It will sneak up on you all the time. All right, let's go. Any more questions? One question. I'm going to take one more question and then uh, we're going to get into the, into something that I'm super excited for. All right. Three, two, one. Okay. No more questions. Oh, Susie, one more question. Okay. Let's go. What's the difference between conquering and overcoming? Okay. So that's a wicked question. All right. So overcoming essentially what you're doing, you're just jumping over the fear and you don't touch it. You just go over it. Not dealing with it. Okay. Yeah. You don't deal with it because then what happens, like I mentioned, you jump over it, but the fear goes with you. And when you conquer it, you really open it up. You open it up and you see a little tiny piece and that tiny piece is the actual root cause of the fear. And when you're able to take that little piece and crush it, that root cause is no longer there. That root cause has now been conquered, right? So a lot of the times people are saying like, oh, I'm afraid of flying. No, you're not. People are not afraid of flying. There's, I'm gonna, this is what I'm gonna end it with, okay? People are afraid, it's not of flying, but they're afraid of heights. They're afraid of uh, like losing control. They're afraid of dying. They're afraid of being up in the air, you know? So that was that, all right? So there's different kinds of fears that are actual root cause of the fears, right? So that's what you got to do. As uh, Peter wrote, fear can be the root to childhood memories. And most of the time it is, all right? Now, who here uh, liked the energy? Who here like the energy? I, I think I've done a pretty decent job over here. I think I've, I've inspired. If I inspired you, please write down yes. And um, one last thing we need, we got to do. If you want to take control, if you want to get your mindset right, you want to get the goals right, you want to know how to uh, set uh, the goals, okay? If you want to get your vision right, if you want to get, uh, if you want to manage time, the one last important thing we need. Oh my God. Now, I hope the guy's ready. I really, really hope because the last thing you need is something that I wish I had more right now, but I hope he's getting ready. The one person to take on energy is no other but Jeff, the entrepreneur. That guy is going to blow your mind, going to tell everything about the energy that you need to crush 21. Thank you so much. I'm going to post the link right now for the calls. I hope to see you there. Jeff, let's rock it. Awesome. Wow. Thank you. I hope everybody can hear me okay. Um, this has been an amazing event, Brand X. Uh, Emmanuel, that was amazing. I actually have a lot of people in here from the morning show saying, man, that Emmanuel guy's fire. Everybody's been fire. I have